Lions TV, full time, where it finished. Stoke City nil, Millwall nil. Well, uh, that was a very painful watch, to be honest, uh, depressing. I have to say, a big shout out, fair play to the uh, 500 odd that uh, made that trip up there two days before Christmas. I uh, couldn't make it myself, unfortunately, today. Been uh, down with illness most of the week. But, um, yeah, it was bad enough just uh, watching it from the uh, comfort of my sofa. Horrendous. Um, what do we say about the management, Joe Edwards? Listen, I'm all, I'm all for giving him time. Still somewhat early days, but I'm yet to... I'm yet to see anything. We all got carried away with his first game in charge against Sheffield Wednesday, but that just goes to show how bad Sheffield Wednesday are. Because um, I've not seen any sort of glimpse of follow-up from that performance since. And it's just like watching the same as we've already seen under Rowett. If not worse. I honestly don't think people used to complain about the Rowett-style performances and the way we set up. But under him, we we were never this close to relegation in all his years in charge. I think with him still in charge, the football might be boring. But um, I think we still wouldn't be far off the playoffs. We've always pushed on, but it seems to me we've got we've gone backwards. There's there's not been any step forward. Like, I'm watching that today, thinking I said it in the group chat. I I can't see what our game plan is. In any of these games I've seen, I can't see what we're trying to achieve. Because no one looks like they've got a clue out there. And the worst thing is, Brooke Norton Cuffey, one of the only players on the pitch that seems to want to get forwards and try and create something, he takes him off. Why? And then brings McNamara on. Uh, what more? Come on, Brian. Come on. As soon as they come on, actual wingers or wing backs, players with a bit of quality, we look like we start to maybe create a couple of chances. But why not start these players? We're starting with the the, the same sort of formation, the same players out of position. Honeyman's not a winger. Fleming, for me, he's just. Gone totally off it. He's, I, I can't see what he brings brings to the team at all. Dropped him for game a few weeks back and then straight away back in the team. I can't see what he's offering at all. And then uh, you have Imaku and Esse there. Um, I know a lot of people saying, oh, we need to start and we need to start. And I'm not always jumping on that bandwagon, um, but I think today was one of those games that was was crying out for for them two sort of players. And lo and behold, brings on a Maku, 91st minute. Really? Really? What is the point? Bring him on. Give, give him 20 minutes to run around. Get, it's, I, I just don't know what to say. It's some of the decisions and the uh, tactics... Oh, I can't see where it's going. There's there's no idea there. And it really is getting uh, frustrating now because these are games, these last two games, we, we should be picking up more points than these. And going to QPR now, another big one. Is, is anyone confident for us to get three points? I really don't know. Bring on a Maku 91st minute, all of a sudden we get our first shot on target. In the 95th minute, near enough the last kick of the game. Should have scored, but I don't want to put, uh, lie too much blame on him. Um, he's the only one to sort of uh, show anything. Didn't get many minutes. Even Watmore showed like he's doing something, but Norton Cuffy as well. Why take him off? Why take him off? I, I don't understand the, the way we're setting up. Yeah, it's a very... Uh, this more watch and we're gonna uh, I don't know who what's gonna happen in January. I don't know whether we've even got uh, enough money now to uh bring a lot of players in, but something needs 
changing massively. We need a complete overhaul because is it the player, is it the manager? But, but this just ain't happening at the minute. Uh, it, it really ain't enjoyable to watch. But uh, yeah, we're going to Boxing Day now. We need a big result. Come on, you Lions.